listen up, ladies. A, a new study is revealing that hormone replacement therapy may actually benefit your brain. But the timing of this is critical here. Research published in the Frontiers in Aging Neuroscience Journal reveals menopausal women, that's women in their 40s, 50s, early 60s, who undergo HRT may reduce their risk for Alzheimer's disease and dementia. Let's bring in Dr. Tom Pitts, board-certified uh, board neurologist, I should say, to explain the significance of this study and what this means for middle-aged women. Um, Dr. Pitts, thanks for being with us. You've really helped us cover the gamut this week. Uh, we've long sung the praises of getting your hormones in check, hormone therapy as it relates to mood, physical symptoms, but I don't know that Many people have heard its effects on the brain. So how does HRT decrease a woman's risk for Alzheimer's and dementia? Well, good morning to the whole gang. Thanks for having me on. You are, ent you are entering one of the most prolonged neurologic battles in research history. I mean, we've had studies showing that they benefit the brain, that they don't benefit the brain. There's some in England that show that they might hurt the brain. But the overall consensus, the majority of studies have always shown that there was maybe a neuroprotective effect. There was a landmark study, and you mentioned the timing, a landmark study done in the 90s of about 100,000 women looking specifically at this question, but they tested them after 60 years of age. So this study looked back and said, what happens when people are treated after menopause right away or quickly thereafter? And what we found was about a 26% reduction in dementia, which is a blanket term. So Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, dementia, frontotemporal, all these different cognitive dysfunctions was reduced in about 26% of women who had hormone replacement therapy for about uh, 10 years or more. And of course, losing its benefit after 65, because by then okay. you probably have already already developed dementia. Yeah. So uh, the earlier, the better. And that's what we found. Yeah. And, and so when, for a woman who's listening to this saying, I, I'm going through menopause, what, what's the correct time to start? Is it right away when you start developing symptoms? Is it a year after your period goes away? I mean, what should women do? Thank you for asking. Well, of course, you know, the, the best answer for me to caveat is, of course, every woman or every person taking, uh, you know, estrogen should be speaking to their physician because this is not on the table for people who have, you know, um, hormonal susceptible cancers, high risk breast cancer, high risk uterine cancer, blood clots, advanced cardiovascular disease. But let's say you are someone who can take it. Yeah, you know, we found that there are cognitive changes in PET scan at the Mayo Clinic, the neuroradiologist there, and I'm so sorry I'm blanking on her name. She did a phenomenal bunch of research on this showing that the cognitive changes are occurring before menopause, where we call perimenopause. There may or may not be symptoms. I would say that until your estrogen levels get to a safe place to start the hormonal therapy, you don't want to have an estrogen excess as that can cause things like blood clots. But assuming you are in full menopause or entering that state, the sooner the better, That would, for, from a neurologic point of view, and the sooner you, the better. And Dr. Pitts, just last question for you quickly. When you say sooner the better, I think there are a lot of women also watching who have not hit menopause yet, but are saying, oh, I'll get ahead of the game. I'll start all of that now before. Do you advise against that? And would that do harm, you know, if, if somebody in their 30s started this hormone replacement therapy? Yeah, as a guy with a blood clot in his left leg, I can tell you it's no fun. And I would tell you that, um, you know, if you have low estrogen levels prior to menopause, that is a nerve, that is usually an endocrinologic problem. So that is not a natural process. You should seek medical help at that at that time. And also remember, lifestyle changes, estrogen helps with sleep, mood, all these other things that can mimic dementia, pseudo dementia. So you will have lifestyle improvement with hormone replacement therapy, potentially less dementia. And uh, the sooner the better, if you're the right patient, you speak to your doctor is what we found. Okay, wow, really fascinating, Dr. Tom Pitts. Thank you so much for helping us shed light on this and breaking it down. Happy Friday. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.